Hello everybody, this is Shockman's 1000 and we're playing for duty. Welcome you back to an episode of Let's Play Nintendo Wii's Cats. Last time we um, had a failure record, well, a failure intro because I got my words modeled up. And we also just explored the new area Sky Heights and found out that we need to repair the lighthouse by finding some lighthouse fuel. And you probably, you actually noticed that I actually just a second re-enters South Portville. I went to Charlotte to check see how many special foods I've grabbed. And we actually no longer need to search for any pineapple. We've actually found all the special pineapples. We just need four more watermelons and six more mangoes to go. Which, hopefully I'll be able to find them. Oh, oh God. Hopefully. Uh, okay, that wasn't a special one. I thought it was for a minute because my character wasn't moving Even though I was holding onto the B button uh, I hate it when the fact that there's a flower that just spawns there every time. It's always the same one Same for the bit. Oh, there's Sai Another watermelon over here. Please be the right one Nope, it's not Oh, there's a carrot here, though. That is a special one! Yes! Finally, we got our first special carrot. Oh, at long last, after how many episodes I've been trying to search for that. I finally got it. Talk to me, Sai. Yeah, you got some, and wait for it. Ah, oh, yeah. Swap it for so You're swapping me some for a swordfish. Great. Great! We're going back to Dolphin Ghost, guys. <laughs> we got a gadget sword freaking fish. Ay, ay, ay. Well, at least he's not bribing us for food this time. But the only problem is with swordfish, they're actually not common fish to find. They are kind of rare. Here's the reason why I said they're only to be found in Dolphin Coast, where the outer sea is. And when I say that swordfishes are pretty much rare, that also implies that they are also the hardest to catch when you do indeed find them. Because the thing is, it could be any random fishing spot. It could be the fishing spot on Dolphin Coast alone, or it could be on the little mini island. I don't know for definite, but we never know, unless we try. Well, I don't want to sniff with the puree dog. Mango, is there a mango here? No. Oh, damn it. Alright, alright, catch the kiwi. Beautiful metal? What? Um, okay, how does that work? Hey, doll. Uh, once again, he's sniffing my work uniform, so he can fall asleep and, hey, special mango, special mango, special, 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 dig it up, yeah, one down, five to go, We're going swimming. No, we don't need to search for any more pineapple, thank you. Eggplant over there. Is there a mango over here? The answer is no. Okay. 
Right, let's go fishing then. See if we can find ourselves a swordfish. Okay. It might actually be on the little island, actually, now I think about it. That's not a swordfish. Oh, it's not even recognizing me shaking. What the heck? There we go. That's a flatfish. Uh, no. Okay, if I can actually catch myself a spare sardine. My fishy. Okay, we got a spare sardine. Okay, so we're gonna go to the island and see if we can catch up. Oh, that's not a sardine. <laughs> Never mind. is a freaking sardine! Unless you can actually get a swordfish in this spot. Come on. That is nothing but that's not a sardine at all. I think that's another flatfish. Yeah, caught it. Honestly. Actually, then again, you put, it's more commonly you're going to get a sardine in South Portville now I think about it. Sardines are not really common in Dolphin Coast. So, I think we're just going to go up there to the island and hope to catch a sardine over there instead. Alright then, let's go, oh, oh it's a papaya, never mind. Alright, let's see if we can catch a swordfish here. Oh, this is a big one. We might actually have gotten it first time. Go on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Moggy, we nearly got it. We nearly got it. Almost there. Got it, there we go. And it is indeed the swordfish. Uh, yeah, we'll send it to the aquarium, even though we do need it for a quest, but we can always catch another one. Because how often do you see a swordfish in an aquarium? Not very often. Speaking of which, we just got another one. Right, come on, just take it nice and easy. Come on, Moggy. Come on, Moggy. Come on, Moggy. We can do it.
Sometimes they can be pretty sensitive, this. Got it. Nope. A sardine. We don't have a sardine, so why are we actually able to go back? Here you go. Here's your stinking swordfish. Lighthouse fuel is just a hunk of rock? Alright, back to the Northern Coast again. Okay, here you go. And now the lighthouse has been repaired. I wonder if Stanley helped build it. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, 900 gold for our troubles. Yeah, yeah, we want we want to leave right now. Okay, let us go to Monolith Isle. And how can a cat steer a boat? <laughs> Those kind of look weird, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, that music, that sounds a little bit scary if you ask me. Alright, I'll let you know when I'm ready to come back. There's a house over there, let's check it out. All right. Yeah, lovely, nice guy. Wait, do you think this is a little strange? Uh, what do you mean exactly? Doesn't the night seem a little long to you? There's an explanation for all this. Okay. I know. I live here and got the water crystal. And it has already been here. He tried to force me to tell him the location of the water crystal. I didn't tell him anything, of course. And so it has cast an ending night o over the island. Okay. The magic mirror could break Evelyn's spell. Okay, find the magic mirror. So you're begging us to take away the night time. Okay. Oh. That looks like those um, warp slash safe stones. You can bring me the magic mirror, I'll lend I'll lead you to Bubble Cave. Oh Bubble Cave, that's actually another area where you can find a special um yeah, a mango. Special mango. Interesting. Alright, yeah. So we'll try and find the magic mirror. Uh, is it? Oh, it's actually located on this island. Alright, never mind. I thought we had to go a long trek for it. But I got a lily. And 12 flowers, which gives us another piece of clothing. A decorated hat. Uh, oh, there's another new item here. Kiwi! But that's actually one thing I find weird. How on earth can a fruit 
be a bird. Because there's kiwi bird and kiwi fruit. Sweetie. Um, okay. Well, we've got a new fishing spot, so let's see what we can find in the fishing area. I bet it's going to be a big fish. <laughs> Me and my big mouth. I think it's a big fish, and it made my big mouth. I told a joke because we got a clown fish. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can get here. I'm tempted now. So we found Marvin or Nemo. Can we find Dory? <laughs> I'm tempted now. Let's see if we can find Dory. Well, oh, this one's a big one. Well, average size one. Come on, come on. Got it. Red Sea Bream. Okay. Yeah, we'll send that one to the aquarium as well. Alright, let's go to the um, save area. Because I would like to save real quick. Wait. Wait, it didn't actually give us the option to warp. So, we can't warp to Monolith Isle at the minute. Okay. Well, that's at least good info to know. You can take that snake. Oh, there's a vulture there. And that's not the same vulture. Oh, two of them. Oh, there is an animal over here. And it's a gorilla. Okay. Not finding any um, mangoes yet. It, this is definitely the area, Monolith Isle. Uh, yeah, you can find mangoes here. So, well, I found a pineapple, but that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, here we go, there we go. Sitting. Right at the very end. And it's not a special one. Yeah, it actually looked exactly like one. Alright, never mind. Alright, let's go to this animal. See what minigame he wants to play. I'm going to assume it's something involving fruit. <laughs> Called it. Fruit catch. Catch the gorillas thrown by... Sorry, catch the... F catch the gorillas thrown by... I nearly said, catch the gorillas thrown by the fruit. No. Catch the fruits thrown by the gorilla to score points. Each type of fruit is worth a different amount of points. Bananas are worth 10, apples 20, and melons, not watermelons, just actual melons, are worth 30. And believe me, if you catch a chestnut, uh, you'll be startled, losing some time... Avoid those prickly imposters and stick to just nabbing fruit. But, um, yeah, as I was going to say, catching these fruit in this minigame does not count for adding it in your inventory. Okay, get 300 points. Right. So we get a banana, apple, bar. Yeah, once they hit the floor, they will immediately go. Oh my god. Uh, oh! Ah! Almost got it. Hey! Got a melon! Wait. Ah, oh, I didn't get that banana. Oh, okay. Well, we're doing alright. I think they make these mini games a little bit too easy with the objectives. Just saying. Because they should really make the minigame a little bit harder, like if you hit a chestnut, you lose a certain amount of points or something. Not just losing time. 
But yeah, there you go, we win. 470 points. Not the best one I've ever done. But it's alright. What have you been doing? Uh, no idea. You probably did cause a mess. <laughs> Alright. Alright, when they're calling to that, it's time for me to call to the end of this episode now. So, next time on Nintendo Wii's Cats, we are going to be searching for the magic mirror, which I already know roughly where it is. It's probably surrounded by those vultures. And hopefully to go to find the water crystal, which is told us to be in Bubble Cave. See you guys then.